Welcome everyone to the No Gloves Show. My name is Josh. I am your host. So we're going to do a market recap. All right, first thing we got to talk about though, and actually here, let's go ahead and play the jam here with uh, Mr. Muskrat or Lord Edge as he's now calling himself. Let me pop this right over here. He's gifted us with this uh, wonderful little tune. I don't think I can play this that long, but... Uh, and he said, Much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance, so I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Do you support this? 57%. 57.9% of people support it. Uh, he did change his name to Lord Edge from Troll of the Helm, so keep that in mind. And then he also put a comment here about a Biden... I, he might talk about what he applies to do with the money. Oh, jeez. He might be putting the money in a, a cryptocurrency called a Biden. Oh, oh jeez. I actually uh, just read that for the first time. So, this is the type of stuff I like to put into... The server so we're gonna upload that we all just learned that together so all right lots going on lots to cover we're already a minute and a half in and i've actually got quite a bit to cover so must did that what does that mean it could mean a lot of things that's one of the largest companies in the u.s and he's proposing selling 10 percent of his stock whether or not he's serious he could cause a sell-off a panic no one wants to be the last one holding it no one wants to hold it while he sells 10 percent of the stock uh yeah, there's all sorts of issues with him doing that. Um, he's made it very clear that he might be trolling. I don't know. It's Elon Musk. That's what he does. All right, moving on. Just keep that in mind, though. Uh, that could domino effect out of control because of his cult following is massive. I mean, how many people follow this guy? Um, whatever. It's a lot. All right, we got to move on. We got a lot to cover. All right, so in the... Let's get this out of here. So the UK Labor Party got hacked in a cyber attack. Remember that cybersecurity is a thing. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any other reports on that. Nothing's got leaked or anything serious, but um, keep in mind that these are still happening. This could be an issue, especially when we talk about the rest of the stuff going on that could be even more complex if these cyber attacks continue, all right? So next thing, energy crisis. Uh, if you live near me, I'm in the Midwest. Uh, Spire is my gas company. They put out an announcement just a few days ago that they could run out of gas in December. That's already hitting us here in the U.S., folks. I've been talking about the energy crisis for a few months now. It is here. Um, this is a serious problem. We definitely do not want a super cold winter. This could lead to all sorts of issues. Uh, keep in mind, if gas prices also get above like $5, suddenly there'll be a huge push for electric vehicles. So he could literally sell off 10% of the stock, then we get an energy crisis, and then it just goes right back up. So uh, that's an interesting, yeah, it's a very interesting thing to think about. Um, so energy crisis, though. So, uh, you know, I live in the Midwest. We got a lot of farmers out here. Uh, farmers are saying that they, Biden has a new plan where he wants to, have the farmers sell their land to the government and the government pays the farmers to farm their land. Obviously, lots of farmers are very opposed to this idea. And keep in mind, uh, I only am giving a gist because I only have a gist. I am not informed on the detailed litigation that goes with this process. All I know is that that is further complicating the labor issues that we already have. And I haven't heard of this hit like major news yet but i have been networking with uh actual this is anecdotal all right we don't have you know we've never gotten anal i've never given anecdotal information here but um facebook groups are really interesting so and i have i have people who have been telling me about this farmers are prepared to go on strike for the full winter if they have to uh because they do not want to sell their land to, to biden but they also are aware that they could have troubles that stem from the energy crisis and the huge supply issues. Uh, these supply issues, the energy crisis, the last two years, things get complex. People get frustrated. 
And that brings us to another issue, which is we also have a huge deficit in our labor forces. MoDOT, because I live in Missouri, I live in St. Louis, Missouri. MoDOT is severely understaffed. Uh, and so are a lot of other states. And um, this is now, whether it's related to, there's a lot of speculation on whether it's related to the vaccine mandates because uh, our, the U.S. does lag uh, in vaccinations. And there's a lot of people not going to work because they don't want to get vaccinations. This is, um, I, 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 we don't get political here. I don't take sides. I just react to uh, what's going on. So, um, yeah, we'll just note that there's some complications there. Uh, for, <clears throat> oh yeah, okay. So, let me just say other issue. If they want to re really resolve the supply chain issues, uh, Biden's even pro proposed some um, streamline effects to help resolve those supply chain issues. Uh, but listen, the government needs to get this budget fixed. We have to get these constituents moving. It is bad. It is really bad. Um, and I say that as someone who's been obnoxiously positive the entire year, uh, even when we had those sell-off months, I have to, and, and I, I try, you know, I try to do better than most people my age who don't do historical research and stuff. Uh, you know, there's no, they don't have a very good frame of reference, right? I combat that. I try to keep that in mind. And I still have to say that this is pretty bad. Uh, the progressives and uh, the Democratic Party is falling apart because poll polls for Biden are so bad. And remember, I, I am, at, I'm not taking a side. I'm just telling you the reality of the situation that is unfolding. They cannot get anything done. <laughs> it is a mess. Uh, the progressives that are still siding with Biden... But the moderates are against him and now fighting every little thing because his polls are so low and because elections are rolling around. And speaking of those elections rolling around, as we shared in the news feed of the Discord, uh, yeah, we just saw Youngkin win a victory in Virginia, first Republican elected in 12 years. Folks, I did not, I anticipated some sort of swing. And sentiment, public sentiment, due to this political volatility, for that to happen that fast, though, I think that is that is just wild. Um, that is extremely that is extremely fast. Um, to see you know sentiment swings like this, it's it's like the whole country's bipolar uh, right now, and uh, I don't know what to make of that. Um, this is very volatile, especially with all these things going on. And then you're making huge, I mean, people, maybe this push uh, will help actually bring some solidarity that will help bring some um, some changes. Just anything. Any, we, need, we need anything. We need, we need <laughs> just, they're a fat cog. And even though they're probably going to do things poorly, we just need things done, even if they're done poorly. So. Moving on, because we're uh, we got more to talk about. So th that if if okay, yeah. So if that gets pushed through, that's great. If not, could be worrisome. All right, this week for earnings, uh, there's a lot that we need to keep in mind as well. So we have PayPal, Roblox, Plug, Zanga. Keep in mind that for face the Apple earnings issues. Um, I'm sorry, the Apple advertising changes that they made for less data for the advertising companies, that could also affect Zanga. Um, and then we also have Plug, I'm really interested, that's on Monday, uh, Clove is going to be reporting earnings, Riot will be reporting earnings, Lemonade, I'm really interested about Lemonade as well. Uh, that is the AI insurance company, apparently they've moved to auto which is very interesting. So uh, um, we need to pay attention to how they disrupt the space because um, that could have some that could have some impacts. So I imagine that stock will move pretty heavily based on whatever happens. And with all these companies, we're still just wanting hints, hints of what's going on. Um, so yeah, I, all this is in the Discord company earnings. I'm actually not going to run through all of these. If you, <laughs> you could come become a contender, which we now have a free trial, by the way. And... Um, uh, there was one more thing I wanted to cover. Ooh, 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 ooh. Will my brain work? Um, 
notes. Okay, so economic data coming out this week that we have coming up. We want to pay attention to the fact that on Wednesday we have all this inflation data coming out, but also all these energy reports. And this will be um, this will be really interesting to see if these continue to miss, if these continue to be an issue. I mean, we expect it to. We're just looking to see how bad it is. Is it worse than we think it is? Is it not quite as bad as we think it is? Usually people, usually we overreact and underreact. Okay, so um and then we have to adjust so usually the first thing that people do is an overreaction so um but keep in mind there's a lot of data coming out uh, on thursday's veterans day so there won't be any economic data but the market will still be open and we're hitting about 11 minutes folks but i think i covered a good amount of the content make sure to check out the server uh and also on uh, November 14th, we are having a cryptocurrency class. Check out our social medias to learn more about that. Um, and, or if you're in the Discord server, uh, we are going to be updating our calendar report soon. So we'll see you all then. And see you in the Discord Monday morning.